What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm gonna bring you a little cooking video I thought I would make for you guys. Today we're gonna make some omelets for breakfast. These are my favorite omelets and I think it's the best way to make an omelet. So we're gonna make two omelets this morning. We're gonna make one full of vegetables and the other one with meat, but both omelets are gonna have cheese in them because to me you can't make a good omelet unless you add some good cheddar cheese. All right, so we gotta start off by preparing all of our ingredients before we make our omelets. So let's get started. So the first omelet we're gonna make is vegetables and we're gonna put uh, orange pepper, because that's my favorite pepper. We're gonna put tomatoes and we're gonna put some yellow onion. Uh, and like I said, both omelets are gonna have some cheese in them. All right, so we're gonna start by grating the cheese. You're gonna take a cheese grater and your cheese, get yourself a nice little bowl, and then you're gonna grate the cheese into the bowl so you can use it later. All right, so there we go, we got our cheese. This is gonna be enough for both of our omelets. So we'll use half for the first one and half for the second one. So next we're gonna cut up our orange pepper and when you cut a pepper, first thing you wanna do is cut off the stem. So then you can stand it upright. And then it's very easy, you just cut at sort of a half moon angle and you'll get all the good parts of the pepper without getting any of the inside seeds and the inside stems. So now you have two nice pieces, then you can flip those over Cut those into strips. Twist those and cut them into cubes. Perfect little sizes for your omelet. So now we're gonna cut up our tomatoes. Very simple, just cut it into wedges, stand those upright, and then cut those into about the same size you had your peppers cut into. So there we go, that's good. Now I like to not use the inside too much. I find the inside is very watery. So I like to cut around the inside and then I just take that piece out and use only the sort of the skin of the tomato. There we go. Next we're going to cut our onion. Now we don't need very much onion because onion is very strong tasting and it'll overpower everything else. So we're just going to cut off a little bit of the end of the onion. And that's the only piece that we're going to use. So the rest we can put aside. All right, so we're gonna just peel off the, the outside skin of the onion. There we go. When you're cutting an onion, there's one way that's really easy to do uh, that'll make really, really small cubes and you don't have to sit there slicing. What you're gonna do is make small slices inward, about halfway, stack them on top of each other. Like that. Then make small slices down where you made the first slices, so sort of crisscross them. And then, see it's already falling apart into little pieces already, but then you can go finally this way, down the onion, and you'll be left with right away small pieces of onion. So it's much easier to do it that way, I find. To make our omelet, we're gonna take a nice big deep bowl um, and you can use as many eggs as you want, uh, but I'm gonna use two for these omelets. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crack our eggs into our bowl. Then, because this one is our vegetable omelet, we're gonna take the veggies that we chopped up earlier. So we got the tomatoes, we're gonna put some in to the bowl. We got our onions and peppers. We're gonna put some of those into the bowl. And then we're gonna take some of our cheese, take about a handful of that, throw that into the bowl. Then you're gonna take your fork, and I use a fork instead of a whisk, because I find a whisk makes too many bubbles in the eggs where a fork just scrambles them up. But we're gonna take our bowl, and then we're gonna just break the yolks and mix all of our ingredients together until it looks like it's well mixed. So you just keep sort of spinning it, moving it around. And there we go, perfect. We're gonna move over to our pan now. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is turn it on. And you wanna use sort of a low, medium, low heat, depending on what your stove is like. So for here it's set to about low. Then you're gonna to need to put some oil, so I'm just using some olive oil. But what I like to do is pour some in, then I take a little paper towel, 
and I just wipe it all the way around to make sure it's evenly coated. And the paper towel will take out any excess oil that we don't need because I don't like to have a super greasy uh, omelet. We're also adding butter to our omelet, so it's gonna be even more greasy. So I wanna take out as much oil as I can. But there we go, we're nice and coated all the way around. So once we've given our pan a moment to heat up so it's nice and hot now, we're gonna take that egg mixture that we made before and we're gonna pour it all in. Perfect. Just give it a little spread. Be careful not to scratch the pan, but sort of spread out your ingredients so that you get a good mix. And then you're gonna take a lid of a pot or something else that fits on your frying pan and just cover it because we want to try to give it some even cooking and that'll keep the heat inside the pan. So in this next clip, the microphone died for some reason, so I had to bring you guys the voiceover afterwards. But all we're doing in this clip is we're adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to our omelet. Uh, now the pepper is optional if you like it, but I really recommend the salt because when you cook with eggs, it's really important to add a little bit of salt. It helps bring out that really good egg flavor. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our spatula and we're gonna try to get rid of all the gooiness on the top of the omelet. So we lift one side of the omelet, tilt the pan towards it, and let all the drippings run underneath the omelet so they can come in contact with the pan. And you wanna repeat this a few times around the omelet so you can get all that excess gooiness off the top and get a nice even cooking throughout the omelet. Once we've done that a few times, we're gonna take a nice chunk of butter and put it in the middle of our omelet. And when we put our lid back on, this will help the butter melt throughout the omelet and keep the eggs nice and fluffy. This is a very important step because it'll help your eggs from drying out and becoming cracked. So you can see our butter's melted now, it's just a tiny little piece left. Um, but we're getting pretty close. It doesn't look very gooey except for the, the butter that just melted there. So when we get to this stage, we're right near the end. We're gonna take a little bit more of the cheese that we had from before and just sprinkle that right on top directly. Now you can put more cheese, you can put less cheese. It depends how cheesy you want your omelet. But what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take our omelet here, get the spatula underneath, and then you're just gonna very gently fold it over in half. Perfect. So now you can see it's closed. It's a little bit brown on the outside, which is how I like it. We can let it cook maybe another minute. We don't need to put the lid back on. Just keep moving it a little bit, just to get it finally cooked all the way. Let that cheese in the middle melt. Uh, okay, so when we're done cooking, we're just gonna pick up our omelet place it onto our plate with a nice couple of pieces of toast and then we're gonna finally finish it off by just garnishing it with some chives on top because chives and eggs go really well together perfect there we go that's our vegetable omelet so now we'll move on to making our meat omelet for a meat omelet we're gonna use uh, some half-cooked bacon uh, it's sort of microwave bacon I find this better because if you use raw bacon it won't cook all the way through the omelet and then you have to take, you know, 15 minutes cooking the bacon before you make the omelet. With this stuff, you can just go quickly. Um, and then we're gonna use some pre-cooked ham, but we're not gonna use that much. We're just gonna take the smaller piece here and we'll cut that up and put that in our omelet. So we'll cut up the ham into the same size sort of cubes we used for the peppers and the tomatoes. So just cut it into little strips and then take those strips and cut them in half or into thirds if they're too big, there we go. And then we'll take our bacon strips and just cut those into little chunks. So the bacon here is a little bit hard to cut. It's kind of sticky, but we just do the best we can, cut it into little chunks. All right, so that was much easier than the vegetable omelet. So just like the vegetable omelet, we're gonna take our empty bowl, we're gonna take our two eggs, crack the eggs into the bowl. We're gonna put our meats in with the eggs. There we go. And then we're gonna take our cheese and put almost all the rest of it inside. We're just gonna keep that last little bit for when we add it at the end. Take our fork, mix it up, mix, 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 so we get it all mixed up with the eggs. Make sure everything's covered, scrape in all that cheese, mix it up, looks good. So now we'll move over to our pan. So we followed the same exact steps for the meat omelet, we poured it in, made sure that all the extra liquid got in contact with the pan by lifting the, the omelet. We added some butter, some salt and pepper, and then we at the very end we added our last bit of cheese, flipped the omelet over, 
Now we're just about done. We're letting it cook about another 30 seconds. Looks good right about here. So we're gonna take our plate, we're gonna take the finished omelet, put it on with our couple of pieces of bread, and then like before, just finish it off with a few chives on top of the omelet. And there we go. That's our meat omelet done. All right guys, so I suggest you go out and make this this weekend, because this is really, really good. So put some egg on top of the toast, and then I'm gonna enjoy it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Check the links down below for the, my last video where I give you guys my five tips for being happy. Maybe you guys can leave me some comments down below for other videos that you guys would like to see. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.